Yo, what is up guys, it's Vozovic here and welcome to another episode of the Beat Grinding in Reaper series, a series of tutorial videos in which you'll learn not only how to make beats, but how to do it in Reaper. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to generate chords in Reaper and how to make some basic chord progressions. Before we start uh, doing anything, you have to install one thing. The link to this thing, to this file, is in the description down below. It's a Reaper script made by a user uh, named Eolian1. Uh, so all you have to do is to download the file. In this file, you have two more files. It's a zip archive, so you have to um, extract it. And you have those two files in your download folder. And what this extension does, it adds you a scale, chord and arpeggio menu, thanks to you can just insert any chord you like uh, to your MIDI grid. So let me show you how to install it. The first thing you have to do is to go uh, to the options menu right here and go to customize menus slash toolbars at the bottom of the menu. In this window you see right here, you can customize uh, Reaper's menus. And what we want to do is to customize the MIDI editor menu. So let's look for uh, MIDI piano roll context at the bottom. Here it is, MIDI piano roll context, which is this menu that pops up uh, when you click right button of your mouse uh, in the MIDI editor. Now we click import at the bottom of this window and we select chord scales arps that reaper menu we just downloaded uh, in, the, in this folder. Now it's done, we can close the window. And the second thing we have to import is an action. Uh, we go to the actions menu right here, we click show action list, which is the first thing. Here is the action list. We change the section in the top right corner to MIDI editor. Here is MIDI editor. And now we press on the key map right here. We import shortcut key map. And in the same folder, we have another file which ends with Reaper key map and we hit enter and import it. That's all done. We can close everything. And now as you open your MIDI editor, uh, you have this menu right here. And you can insert scales, chords, or arpeggios. Let's start from chords. Boom, in grinding, in boom, Let's turn on the key snap first. Uh, we are in the D sharp, natural minor. The whole beat is in this particular scale. And let's insert a minor chord. Uh, we go to insert chord minor and this minor chord. It's really short. So what we do uh, to make it longer, we can of course uh, make it longer, but to insert longer chords, let's just change the note resolution right here. The grid is now set to two whole notes. And now as we insert the chord, uh, it's gonna be longer, minor, and here it is. So let's make a simple uh, minor chord progression uh, based on four chords. We've just made a chord progression in like 15 seconds. So that's definitely a great way to uh, get things quicker. As you have the key snap turned on in a certain scale, uh, you can just move the chords up and down. And that's a great feature because you don't have to insert the chord every time. Now let's try arpeggios. Let's set the grid to eighth notes and let's insert an arpeggio, a minor arpeggio. Let's make a lower part, here, even a lower part, okay, and let's hear how it sounds like. And that's just a super quick way uh, to make an arpeggio 
Uh, arpeggios are just chords played in various ways, up and down, uh, with a single note. And the last feature of this extension uh, is the scale. Let's turn the key snap off uh, and we can insert a scale. We go to insert scale and we can insert, for example, a mixolydian scale. And here it goes. It's, it's, it's not in our scale, but that's just a cool feature if you want to have the notes from this scale. But you can also use just the key snap. If you haven't seen the episode about making melodies where I installed this huge list uh, of, of scales, uh, the link is, is somewhere here. So make sure you watch that if you want uh, more scales in Reaper. And that's basically it. Uh, this is a very handy tool in terms of writing things quickly. If you are making beats, anything like that, you can experiment with various chords. Uh, my favorite ones are, for example, uh, minor 13s or minor 11s. I, just, I, I wouldn't even know how to construct that kind of chords uh, if not for this plugin. And honestly, I don't think I have to be ashamed that uh, I am not a master of a music theory because, because I am not a master of a music theory. And that's, that's true. That's why I love that kind of tools. And my philosophy is, if it works, if it sounds good, it's good and nothing else. In the next episode, we're gonna be talking about the concept, the philosophy of contra melody. Uh, so stay tuned for that. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vodzu Beats and keep the good vibes alive.